Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be creating the inverted cutters for all the different pieces of our character so that he may finally start looking like the actual design. Um, so what we've done from the previous exercise, um, merging the different pieces, it should give you something like this. You should no longer have any lines on the different parts here. So the arms, the, uh, the hips, the head, all of those should now be using uh, the merge that we've created just now. So I strongly suggest that you finish that up before getting into this part. Um, so in this one, what we'll be doing is if we look at the entire character here, um, I've hidden away the vest because it kind of covers up a lot of what uh, we have in there. So what we'll be doing is we'll be invert cutting the sleeves into the arms uh, we'll be invert cutting the belly inside of both the torso and the hips here um, because we have a little bit here showing and we want that to keep going over here but being cut away by the line. So that's probably going to be the trickier one. We're going to invert cut these different pieces here inside of the leg. So as we've done with the other exercises, um, we're going to be doing one side of the character and you guys can go ahead and do the other side uh, just so the video doesn't become too long. Um, we've already invercut the pupil inside of the eye, but one good idea for uh, creating the, um, the different views later on will probably be to have the entire face here cut by the shape of the head. So basically the jaw um, the, uh, the head as well, just to make sure that all of this fits inside of the shape here. Um, all right. We've also got the vest as well that we'll be cutting inside of the torso. Um, so let's go ahead and deactivate this for now. We'll start with the other pieces here. So we've got our sleeve, the center on selection here. And over here, I have my grouped merge systems. So we can see here how to um, bring those different pieces inside of the merge because right now I want the sleeve to be red underneath the line but above the color of the arm. So uh, I have both of those already split in here. Basically I want to connect it between these two and then cut it. So uh, going back on the outside if I want to bring something inside of the group as opposed to uh, where it is sitting now, I'm going to take that connection. I no longer need it over here on the comp. I'm going to grab that. And if I try to bring it here, it just replaces the current connection. Um, so if I want to add a new port, I'm going to hold down Alt. And now it will add a third connection in here. So that connection will be available, of course, inside the multi-port in. So from there, I can just go and connect it in between the line art and the color art. You can space things out a little bit more if it helps you. So this connection here is my sleeve and I want that to be cut. So cutter, I want that to be cut by the color of my arm, which is conveniently enough already inside of my group. So I can bring that in here and I'm going to simply invert cut it by clicking on the mask here. There we go. So we've got our mask. The sleeve is invert cut inside of here. Currently the line that we have over on the side is still brown. We'll take care of that in a later video to uh, have the color be modified to uh, the same color as the sleeve line here. Uh, so we'll change that a little bit later. Um, now we can do the same thing over here for this piece. We're going to invert cut that inside of the leg. So for this one, we don't need to go inside of a group. We can just use our cutter and invert cut that by the leg. So really simple for this one. You can do the same thing here for the sole of the shoe and the, uh, the lines here for the toes. So you can actually connect both of these if you want. 
under a single comp if you want to use just one cutter and copy that cutter here connect it underneath and invert cut that into the foot so now um, I may want to create a little handle for the bottom part of the foot if ever I need to uh, modify this a little bit and bring that in um, you can see how to create handles uh, we have a little video tutorial on that inside of rigging too so you can make sure that you go and access that inside of that specific course um, so really easy to get those uh, little cutter pieces for the entire face here we're going to just go and make sure that we have everything sitting under a single comp so we have the uh, the the eyes here and that pretty much goes inside of the entire head so instead of using multiple cutters at this point I may want to just uh, reorganize slightly the different assets that we're going to be using um, so we've got both of our eyes we have the mouth here and the nose is actually over here so let's just see how these are layered on my comp at the moment if I just select those there are actually three connections right next to each other so I'm going to create a new one and just replace those connections inside of it in the exact same order as before so this is going to be my face comp and I'm going to of course set it as pass-through so there we have it. We have all of our features, all of our facial features here under a single composite. We're going to cut that by the uh, shape of the face here. Uh, we can add those in here as well, just in case they kind of stick out a little bit. Um, and of course the head as well. So multiple things coming to mask uh, the, uh, the features here. So. We'll use another comp to have all the parts of the head right here. So this is the hair. We have this entire part here, which conveniently enough uh, has all the different pieces that we want. However, um, we don't want the features to go over this line here. So these are all little things that we need to think about when creating our systems because we know for a fact that these will be moving offset uh, to the side to create the other views. So um, since we've already split those, we could use the auto patches of both the features here as the mask. So we can take those since we already have them, invert this cutter here just to make sure that these stay on the inside. So already we should be getting a pretty good result if we try moving those. And we have a very slight here uh, issue with this one. So we'll be able to go and bring those in as well. If I want to use the auto patch as well for these, uh, since they're using lines, we can do that as well. Um, so let's just take those top ones, add those to our composite Take the other top and if I want another auto patch instead of going through the node library I can always take one here so long as it's a node that doesn't hold a function value you can always copy and paste them really easily on there we have this one here and finally this one let's just set that as pass through there we have it. And uh, this is going to be all the masks cutting away the different parts and keeping them on the inside. Uh, so we have a little thing missing here, looks like. It's probably because we've forgotten to separate the line from the color. So that's the usual uh, reason why the auto patch doesn't work. You need to make sure that you have the line on the line art and the color on the color art. So it's a good little giveaway uh, when you test it out. Uh, and as I've mentioned in probably all the other tutorials that I've done for uh, rigging, 
test it out, make sure that you try it, move things around, uh, use your transform tool after uh, you've set up your system. That's the best way to know if things are going to be working properly. Um, now on to the last part for uh, cutting away the different things. We'll cut away the belly by the shape of the torso and the hips. So let's go and find the belly here. We'll use that and then afterwards we'll move over to create the one for the vest. So we want the belly to be cut inside of the torso. So again, I'll have to bring that inside of the group. So I'll take that connection, hold down Alt and insert it inside of here. I'll want the belly to be read between the line and color art. So we don't really see that it's in between, but if I move it to the side here, we'll see it pretty clearly. So we have that um, not being cut just yet. So that's our next step. We'll go and get our cutter and cut the connection of the belly by the color art over here. And we'll invert that. So now we have the belly being cut by the shape of the torso. You can see we're missing a piece here. Um, so this can be fixed by uh, using this very same node here. So the belly, and we'll go and connect it inside of the hips as well. So our hips are over here. You can use uh, multiple times this connection here. Uh, one tricky thing sometimes with using uh, multiple times the same thing over and over, for this part it doesn't matter too much, but when you have uh, a texture that you want to map across multiple items and things like that, and you're invert cutting it inside of multiple one, it may reduce a little bit the flexibility that you have with uh, z-depth values. So if you have two different pieces with the same object invert cut inside of them, uh, using z-depth on the torso or the hips might bring some pieces in front and because your uh, belly, for instance, can only have a single z-depth value, you'll have to um, make sure that this follows properly uh, the pieces that are using that depth. All right, so connecting the belly inside of here, same again, pressing Alt, bringing that in going inside of our group and we'll put it in between the line art and color art. And this is already cut away by the shape that we have here. But just in case that we do end up with this line uh, a little bit further down onto uh, the rest of the body, we want to make sure that we, um, that we cut away the belly so that it doesn't overlap with the hips. So we'll still use our cutter and cut it away by the color art and invert cut it. So now we have this entire line here. We can move that around. Uh, we can always go and make that a little bit bigger if need be to adjust to this line here. Um, we have the sleeve that's in Rika, we have the belly, we want to do the vest. Um, so the vest, pretty easy. Uh, you could do a merge for both of these pieces at the same time here, and we'll want to bring those inside of the merge as well. So same as for the belly. If you wanted, you could use the same connection. So it is a single connection being cut by the inside of the torso. So we could just as well remove the connection of the belly and put in a comp. So we'll just set that as pass through. Connect that in the connection that we had previously for the belly. So same as before. We just added in the comp. And instead of having the vest connected over here, you can simply throw that on top of the belly to invert cut it inside. So we have our vest. Of course, we want it to be above the belly here. We may change a few things again later, 
because as of now we have the line that is brown where we would want it to be green. So same as with the sleeves really. Um, so we'll see in the next video how we can fix that. For now I encourage you guys to go ahead and do the other side of the character as well as this one of course uh, if you haven't done it at the same time uh, watching the video and we can then move on to recoloring those lines in the next video.